What's going on everyone? Claire McKee here with Modern Media Network back at Golden West Property Management with my friend Roy True. What's going on? What's up Claire? Thank you Mr. for coming Drew. in. Mr. Yes. True. Yes. Uh, always here to just give an update on what's happening, trying to keep people informed on this crazy market and you have been so kind to bring your friend uh, David Stein. He's the broker and owner of Principal Equity Group here in San Diego. Hey, how are you doing? Well, how are you doing? How's quarantine life treating you? Good, good. It's uh, it's been quite interesting, obviously, and you know, just trying to keep the mind uh, moving and and uh, and get outside a little bit and get some exercise. So, um, you know, right around the house, and but uh, it's been uh, been very interesting. I should just say that. It is. Are you at your home office now? Yes, correct. At the home office, um, no longer going into the main office, obviously, because you know, uh, many different reasons. I know, I know. And mindset really is everything right now, that's right. for sure. Right, right. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of a lot of DocuSign, a lot of electronic communication. At least we were all prepared for this a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah, a lot of that. And then also, you know, um appraisers and notaries wearing full, you know, medical scrub to sign um documents is very interesting. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Strange times. I feel like that's just like the slogan for right now. Yeah. So true. Um, and totally unrelated on maybe a more happy and positive note. Uh, word on the street is that you and Roy both went to U of A. Yep. Bear is, down. Is this, is this where we say bear down? Bear down. <laughs> is that, uh, what is this? What are you doing? That's a wild cat. That's a wild cat. Bear down. Bear. Bear down <laughs> okay. Okay. I love it. So uh, again, thanks for taking the time. We're just going to chat through some ideas talk about how uh, what your industry is ultimately seeing right now. So let's kind of start with that. Obviously, this is crazy times right now with the COVID-19 pandemic. So how is that ultimately impacting you in the mortgage space in your business right now? So, you know, obviously it's, it's impacted the purchases a bit. Um, a lot of people are kind of just, you know, don't want to be going out there and viewing properties. So I've seen a lot of, um, you know, the good agents uh, shifting their strategy where they're now offering online virtual tours where you can literally go through the property, um, you know, on YouTube and then set up a Zoom call with them afterwards and go over your questions and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I see it evolving, um, but it has scared a lot of people because a lot of buyers in San Diego are over the age of 55 and, you know, they're over the age of 60. and they're a little bit more cautious now, whereas more of the millennials, you know, they're on online and they're they're okay to move forward like that. And they're looking for, you know, a nice property. So I've seen that in the purchase industry or the purchase side, but on the refi side, a lot of people with equity right now, um, I've been noticing and trying to convince them to take out, you know, some money to buy another property because as you know, you know, depending on how much the government's going to step in and back these mortgage servicers, you know, the mortgage industry could be in trouble too. So, you know, it's going to be a whole cycle where real estate can affect the mortgage company, mortgage company can affect real estate. And that's what's been really interesting to see what, you know, the government's going to do and step in and, and what they're going to do. But a lot of times we've been talking to clients of moving their self down from a 30 year fix to a 20 year fix saving 10 years of interest and maybe they pay an extra $50 a month or $100 a month in, in payments. Um, and then obviously taking and eliminating those credit card balances. When you're paying 23, 24% on a credit card balance, it, um, it basically, uh, <laughs> it basically, you know, there's no investment you can make in yourself that you're going to return a 23, 24% return. So I like to convince people that, you know, they really look, need to look at cleaning themselves, you know, up a little bit, mm -hmm. the financial side and, and making it sure, sure that they can, you know, in these times where a lot of people aren't working or whatnot, they need to be, have some savings, you know, and they need to be prepared for that. So it, it has changed a lot um, and it's going to change even more this week and next week. So it, it's tough to keep up, but you got to be on, on your toes nowadays. Right. A quick question. So with a lot of our investors, people are asking, should I get out like a HELOC loan just to, to help cover for maybe some tenant income, some tenant rents that aren't coming in? Is that something that you're able to help with? Is that a good idea? Yeah, that, that also is a good idea. If you're able to secure, uh, you know, an interest only loan against 
uh, money that you don't have to take out and you don't pay money on unless it's an emergency, you know, those HELOCs can be a very powerful tool um, for an emergency parachute in times like these. So I do recommend those. Um, there are many different options when you're looking into uh, an interest-only home equity line of credit. Um, there are second mortgages. There's all kinds of different things that are available to those um, property owners. Um, the most important thing is taking advantage of those government programs, as you know, the ones that are out there for the SBA, the PPP program, and a few of the other ones that are popping up, the CARES, you know, and stuff like that. If you're eligible, obviously, not one size fits all, but those programs definitely need to be taken advantage by the um, by those uh, landlords, and they also need to call their companies and see what kind of forbearance that they're available to get. A lot of the forbearances are actually a little bit of a trick where they're now turning into a balloon payment. It could be very dangerous, so you really need to know what you're looking at. I'm so glad you brought that up because I've been researching. I have a small business. There's so much information out there and also misinformation, right? So that was going to be my next question to you. Are there any misconceptions or anything that you could maybe clarify for people out there or anything you want to expound on in regards to that? Yeah, that program is, they have pretty, um, you know, the government's come out with a few new programs. Obviously it depends if you're, if you own a business and you have W2 employees, uh, one if you're self-employed, um, one obviously, uh, you know, property owners, LLCs, S-Corps, those kind of things. Um, the, the real major ones is the CARES, uh, the CARES Act, the PPP, and the SBA, the small business loans for retaining your employees. So I think that if you do enough research and if they need those links, I have those links and those applications. So what we could put um, somewhere that when they watch this video, if they have any questions, all they have to do is send us their email and we can send them all that stuff. It's totally free. We don't charge anything for that. We just want to spread that information out to as many people as we can get it to, because then you have to take that to your current bank. You have to file it with, you know, SBA. You have to do the proper steps so we can help them get that set up. And they really want to act on that now because that money will dry up and it will dry up quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. We appreciate that for all of the listeners out there. We'll definitely uh, be sending some resources your way, I'm sure. Um, okay, so are you still traditionally doing loans? Are you taking on new clients or are you only working with existing clients right now? Because there's been a lot of that out there as well. Actually, I just brought on more staff and we are taking on as many files and as many people as we can help because right now, when you are able to say, let's give an example of VA interest rate reduction loan by sending a guy that had a 4% VA loan just a year ago, he can now get a 2.75. Not only can we lower him from 4% to 2.75, he can skip one to two months of payments mm -hmm. and he's gonna get his escrow balance refund payment back to him. And that's like a $10,000 swing. And right now there is every military family, if they could get that, would be a huge benefit, you know, beyond what the government could ever do you're talking $10,000, skipping two payments. I mean, it could be a lifesaver for a lot of families right now. So we are taking on as many uh, new clients as possible because we want to help as many people as we can right now that, you know, that um, can uh, afford. We're not just going to refi someone to refi them. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. There has to be a benefit. They have to save months of payments. They have to save uh, monthly. They have to save interest rate it has to be right. We don't just do it to do it. But if someone is in a spot where they're, maybe they can't get forbearance from their company, they might want to think about a refi to skip those two payments to stave that off. You know, that's something they can deal with down the line, you know, if they get their job back or whatnot. So I would, or, or obviously you need a job to refi, but you know, if you're on furlough or something like that, there are a few banks that are still taking that not many and probably by the end of the week they'll be gone too yeah and i, I know you see a lot of people out there with, that are getting laid off with the opportunity for employment so they're not having to go this normal unemployment process of job prospecting if there's a chance for employment so thanks for giving those couple uh tips for our current landlords current property owners i have a quick question about investors so i know there's never a right time to buy but what, what are you seeing for somebody who may want to get into the market on an investment property, let's say like a one to four unit 
uh, property a, a small multi-unit? That's a great question. Um, before I answer that, I want to touch back on one other thing. Sure. SDGE and a lot of the companies around town, they're offering payment programs. They're offering a bit of for, uh, forbearance too. So those property owners, they really need to talk to their utilities. They need to talk to the providers that they're paying and try to work something out with them. That's another little bit of, you know, kind of kicking the can down the road, which, you know, anyone could use right now. I know it's not a good thing and it's not always good to kick the can down the road, but if you could, you know, get your seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollar SDG and E payment, you know, move down a little bit, you know, with these fourplexes and whatnot, it could be huge. So moving on to purchasing a fourplex, <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> moving on and purchasing one, I think right now is going to be your best time to be buying because a lot of people right now will take, you know, a fifty thousand dollar, a twenty thousand dollar, a thirty thousand dollar reduction in their price because they just lost their job or they can't make that payment anymore and they need to move quickly. So I think it's right now it's going to be a good time to purchase. Um, and it, there's going to be a lot of values out there where people, they, they not, might not necessarily be able to make that, you know, that second or third or fourth rental property payment. And they're like, Hey, I'm just going to sell it. Uh, you know, I came in at this at a really good price, just going to blow it out and use that to protect my other properties. So, I think there's going to be a lot of good deals coming in the next few months on that. And I highly recommend someone to do that because when you buy a multi-unit as a rental, you can use future net rental income to qualify. So, you know, Hey, I, I'm a teacher um, or, and I have a lot of money saved because I got an inheritance. Well, you know, teachers can't really afford that kind of payment, but they can now because if they put 20 to 25% down, they can use that net rental income to qualify. So it actually allows a lot more people to qualify to purchase a, a you know, rental property. So there's a lot of strategies out there and that's all the more reason why we need to talk to you, a trusted mortgage advisor, because people don't know the options available and there are so many misconceptions. And it sounds to me like there's a lot more hope and ways to work around it and do your best to make it work out for everyone. So it doesn't feel so hopeless and terrifying at this time. Yeah, and I've heard a lot of people say, well, what, what if I get laid off and then they, the forbearance doesn't work and this and that and that, you know, you can always sell the house. And if you are uh, of the mind, a lot of people are of the mind that if these foreclosures and these forced sales start happening, I know there's a moratorium on them, but eventually if you're not making your mortgage payment, the bank has to take the house back. It's, it's, it's simple. And if that's happening, there's going to be a lot of deals out there. There's going to be a lot of uh, opportunity. But it's, I guess it's all, it's all relative of the market, depending on what kind of help's coming, if there's going to be more help. Um, so right now we're kind of in a, you know, holding pattern. But right now there are so many good deals out there that I've, I've just seen, you know, even on Facebook, there's people, hey, I've got a house and it's 60, 70,000 under market and they're looking to sell and you, you see a ton of comments. Oh yeah, send me the information. So there are a ton of buyers out there, especially for rental properties. Yeah. Uh, I think right now is the time to buy. And that's, again, that's just my own personal opinion. Um, I've lived here my whole life in San Diego. And, you know, in 08, when they went down, people were buying houses for 250000 in San Diego. And, right. you know. I mean, I think that's just the reality. It's, un it's so unfortunate, of course, what everybody is going through right now. But if you are in the position where you have your nest egg and you're good to go, Now's the time to invest in, in every aspect, really, because money's cheap right now. That's just the reality of it. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, one other thing I wanted to touch on was the ADUs. Um, the ADUs, even down at the, the city planning office, they have three models that you can choose from that they've already paid for. So you're saving $15,000 on an architect. Um, the San Diego, the city of San Diego is really making it, you know, in, in the county of San Diego, they're really want people to add on these ADUs. And when you do take out money on your primary or another property to build an ADU, not only are you helping yourself, but you're, you're helping the contractors, you're helping the subcontractors, you're helping the painters, you're helping the, and in that, it's a really good way to get people back to work. And it's a really good way for you to make money as the homeowner. Um, and that's something that a lot of people are starting to catch on to is, is the ADUs. And, you know, Roy and I have spoke about that many, many times. It's one of the number one ways 
to make your property, to create equity in your own property, where, rather than, hey, I bought this house for you know, 600,000 off the market and it's worth 600,000. Well, if you put an ADU in that backyard, your square footage is going up. You know, obviously it's permitted, it's, it's done the correct way, obviously. And that's another really good way of people to increase not only their rental income, their passive income, their equity, and then and basically their net worth. Absolutely. So David, just to kind of summarize, if there's a takeaway or a golden nugget of information you want to make sure our audience really remembers, what should people know right now? I mean, I would say not to panic. Um, you know, right now we're in a situation that, you know, even if you are losing your jobs, eventually this is gonna, this is gonna pass. It's gonna, you know, we're gonna, you know, we always come up with a, where there's a will, there's a way. Our country's too big. There's too many people. Um, and when this thing does come back on the rental side, obviously there's going to be opportunities, but also on the job side, more millionaires will be made this year than any other year in the history of our country. And it's, and it's you being creative and fi figuring out what's that need to fill, you know, hey, it's not this anymore, it's this. And this year will be the year of more millionaires will be created this year than any year in the history of our country. And I, I firmly believe that because, you know, there's always another strategy, there's always another way to create income or wealth or even, you know, a job or create jobs for others. Yeah, I'm such a firm believer that everything is happening for a reason and there's always a silver lining. So I totally aligned with that. That's great advice. It's a fantastic message. I mean, yeah. the American spirit will come through. We're going to make it through this. And I mean, if you were in the business in 07, 08, you know how the market happened after that. We were too. So a great point. I, re I really appreciate you bringing that up. Mm -hmm. Great mentality, David. Well, Roy, thanks for setting this up for us today. David, thanks for being here. Thank you guys for having me. It was awesome just to, you know, speak and converse with other people live. It's, it feels really good, you know. Hey, got a little energy exchange. Oh my gosh, human interaction. <laughs> and hopefully yeah. we'll bring in on great professionals like like David here to, to help advise our, not only our clients, but the general population out there. Sometimes you just need somebody like David that can break it down into layman's terms and explain what's really going on. Yeah. We all need a resource. And then if they need those links, email us for those, uh, the small business links, uh, all the other information. <laughs> um, and we'll be happy to send that stuff over. Again, there's no cost, no commitment, no nothing. We just want to get that information in their hands to let them, you know, do what they need to do. Yeah, we'll have all your information put up here. Again, David Stein, broker owner, principal equity group. Thank you so much. Roy True, Golden West Management. And I'm Claire McKee with Modern Media Network. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks, everyone. All right.